hi in this video we are going to talk about calculating circular permutations in our previous videos we focused more on linear permutations and that's a permutation with repetition and without repetition in this lesson um, it is expected that at the end of this lesson you'd be able to accurately compare linear and circular permutations correctly calculate circular permutations and solve problems involving circular permutation. So, paano ba sinisolve yung uh, circular permutations? So, if we have circular permutations of n objects, that is just n minus 1 factorial. Okay? n minus 1 factorial. Very easy to memorize. So, if we have um, circular permutations of 4 objects, we use the formula n minus 1 factorial with n as 4. So, that is just 4 minus 1 factorial. So, that is 3 factorial. And even without using the calculator, we know that 3 factorial is just 3 times 2 times 1. And that is 6. Thus, there are 6 possible arrangements. Okay? Or there are 6 circular permutations. Very easy. Let's try this. In how many ways can you arrange five objects in a circular pattern? How many ways can you arrange five objects in a circular pattern? So that is just n minus 1 factorial, substituting our n is 5. We are going to arrange them. So that's 5 minus 1 factorial, and that is equal to 4 factorial. And that is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24, times 1 is still 24. So that is 24 circular permutations or 24 ways to arrange the 5 objects in a circular pattern. Example number 2. In how many more ways can you arrange 4 objects in a linear pattern than in a circular pattern? So here we are going to compare how many ways can we arrange those four objects using linear permutation? And how many ways can we arrange those four objects in a circular pattern? San ba yung mas marami? Okay. And gaano, ka mas, uh, gaano ba karami yung uh, agwat nung dalawa? Okay. So first, we are going to compute the linear permutation. So, determine the number of linear permutations of four objects. And uh, that is just uh, using the formula NPR with N equals 4 and R equals 4. Kasi yung apat na objects, yun din ang i-arrange mo. Apat din sila. Okay? And so, that is um, 4P4. Uh, you may use your calculator right away or you can do the uh, manual um, computation or that is just 4 factorial, okay? 4 factorial is just 24. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, it's 24. So, there are 24 linear permutations of 4 objects, okay? Linear permutations, yan, 24. What about circular permutations? Um, let's determine the number of circular permutations of 4 objects. Okay. To determine the number of circular permutations, we use n minus 1 factorial with n equals 4. And so, that is uh, 3 factorial and that is just 6. So, therefore, there are 6 circular permutations of 4 objects. Okay, so we had 24 linear permutations and 6 circular permutations. So, mas marami yung linear permutations, ano? yung linear pattern, kaysa sa circular pattern. So, ilang ba? So, how many more ways? How many more ways? So, that is subtract, oh, we are going to subtract the number of circular permutations from the number of linear permutations. So, that's 24 minus 6, and that's 18 more linear permutations than circular permutations of 4 objects. 